Good morning, we're on day 52 and we're in probably one of Australia's most famous places or at least its famous landmark and yep, that's it behind me, it's Uluru. So we arrived last night and we stayed out on a little campsite in the middle of nowhere as you can tell, there is literally nothing around 360. Um, so now we're going to see if we can get a bit closer to Ayers Rock. Try and have a little bit of a walk around, but the sun is already on its way up and it's heating it up a lot. So it's 10.30 now and it's already 30 degrees. So we're going to try and get a move on and beat the midday sun. Here we are, we're at the base of Uluru, and we're a lot closer than I thought. I didn't think you'd be able to get this close. I'll show you exactly how close we are in a sec, but um, we're gonna do the Marla walk, which is about an hour and a half. So you can do a base walk all the way around, which is about 10 kilometers, but it does take about three, four hours, and in this midday sun, midday heat, I think it's up to about just mid 30s now, so I don't think we'd survive very well. So we're gonna skip that, just see what we can, see a little bit, an hour and a half is plenty. here is where the elders used to sort of sit so they'd sit here cook out their food and everything um, and kind of tell stories draw pictures on the walls things like that so a big part of this sort of aboriginal culture and stories and everything is all about allure and about the rock so I'm not gonna tell you those stories because I don't do them any justice and that is kind of part of their culture is telling the stories to each other so I don't think I should really tell you their stories so I'll leave you guys to look them up. This bit here is the men's cave so what they do they camp there and keep watch on the kids cave which is just around the corner which you saw and look out for any guys coming back with any food or anything from a hunt and just generally sort of protect their sort of sanctuary from here. The cave area I'm walking up to now is where, well, I guess it's kind of like the school, so the kids got taught by the elders how to hunt, um, obviously mainly the boys, but they got taught how to hunt, how to cook, how to fend for themselves sort of thing. Um, but what I was saying earlier about how close you can get, literally, there's the rock right there, and it goes all the way up. I'm surprised how close you can get. I thought it'd be like a kilometre sort of round track that you can just walk around. Look, I didn't think you'd be able to get this close. We're back in the car. I haven't recorded anything in, in, in Winston in a while. I've been missing out. But um, we're heading to the cultural centre. So ideally you're supposed to do that before. So you go there first, learn about it, and then come and do the walk. But because it was already like 11 a.m. by the time we got here, we thought we'd skip that. Just go straight for the walk and then come back and learn a bit more about it now. So hopefully we should find out some more interesting things. Well, we're not in the culture center, so I couldn't film or photograph anything in there, um, which is fair enough, I guess. There's a lot of like artwork and it's obviously all like heritage site and stuff like that, so fair enough. Um, but we went in there for a couple of hours and then we had a bit of lunch, but now we are heading over to this place, which I can't pronounce the name of, but Hannah can, I think. What, you, what is it? It's called Katajuta. Katajuta, all right. I'll try and remember that, but I'll probably forget. Right where we're here and it's massive and it's a uh, it's kind of like walking on the moon i'm surprised this one's less popular than allura it's probably bigger i'd say it's definitely higher i think yeah it's pretty definitely higher but i guess it's probably not as wide i suppose i don't know if that's why it's not as popular or if there's perhaps not as many stories or meanings or anything behind it but still definitely worth a visit if you're here anyway but now we're on to our last stop of the day and um, we're gonna go and catch the sunset hopefully I'm not sure where the viewing platform sort of area is but hopefully it'll be where the sort of sun sets behind the lure that'll be pretty cool or at least near to it well, we 
made it to Uluru just in time for sunset. It's not the best sunset as it is pretty cloudy, but we'll make the best of it anyway. And that's pretty much it. That's our Uluru experience done. Tomorrow we are going to be in Alice Springs. We're driving there tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys there.